Hello internets, Rocky here again, messing around with the Kindle. I've had a few people message me because they know I use Linux as my primary OS and they want to see what it's like, you know, connecting it to Linux. Do you know, do you need Windows, etc, etc. So, here's a expansion cable from the USB, so let's just plug this is the cable in and then turn on the Kindle by flipping the switch. Bye bye birdies. Back to the book I was reading, so I click the home button. Shove this at the arc of the Kindle. Here we go. USB drive mode. If you want to read... Right. What it does is when I plug it into Ubuntu... This is Ubuntu uh, 10.4. He thinks about your Ubuntu or Ubuntu, whatever you want to call it. Shit, this takes an age. <laughs> uh, this is embarrassing. The machine's crashed. Is it crashed? Is it not? No, oh, there it goes. Loading, loading, loading in the bottom. Lines. It's Ubuntu 10.10 .10, Maverick Meerkat. Right, so when you shove it in to, to the computer door. It automatically boots up to drive mode. This is drive mode, don't you can see here you've got audio, documents, music system. So obviously, audio books, music, Final P3s, documents. Now, here's the book I've downloaded from Project Gutenberg, that's the free B website. This one here, it's uh, Shipwreck by Shipwreck in the Sky by Endando Binder. And now this is it in plain text format, and this is apparently a version designed for the Kindle with images. So it's literally a case of drag. Drop, boom. Go. So that's uh, film up here. Yeah, there they are. Images are in there. So now you have a couple of options. Now it shows the Kindle icon on my desktop. So if you click, right click and eject, this is what the Kindle manual tells you to do. The, you notice the charging screen doesn't appear, but you'll s you should see this is now charging. Trust me, it is charging. It's the exact same process you do in Windows uh, XP. Now, when I do it on Windows 7, it doesn't eject properly and it pisses around. So, you know, let's just pull that out. Look, and this even says two new books. I don't know if you can see the paper over the camera here. Shipwreck in the Sky by Novinda, and I believe the second one's the one with the images. So. Yes, it even tells you this this project got Ricky book blah 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 blah. If anybody anywhere no cross free blah 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 blah. All the release info blah 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 blah. Perfect. So that's the uh, version designed specifically for the Kindle. Let's try the just the plain text version. Wrong version. Oh, I feel like a fanny. Oh, the right version. There you go, exactly the same, Project Gutenberg, all free, nice and legal. So there you have it guys, uh, integrates with Linux really well. So, thanks for watching guys, I'll post another video here whenever I get time. Bye bye.